Okay, I think we'll go ahead and get started with the program. What a great turnout for the second annual Technology Day here at Eastern Illinois University. Thank all of you for coming, all the guests. Uh, we'll go through the list here in a little bit. Uh, but very pleased uh, to see the uh, everyone being a part of this. It really is exciting here uh, for Eastern. Uh, again, I want to point out that uh, we do have a technology fair going on down in the Grand Ballroom. That's being uh, co-sponsored, co-hosted by Information Technology Services, Booth Library Media Services, and then CATS, the Center for Academic Technology Support. And uh, it's really, it's been going very, very well. Uh, we have uh, all the vendors here for lunch. Uh, I'm not going to go through the list and, and introduce them, but would they please stand up and uh, let's give them a, a big thanks. Uh, vendors down there and uh, they're excited to talk to you. I hope you see products, uh, services, uh, all kind of fun things that uh, we should be looking at uh, the possibility of their integration here at uh, Eastern. And as you know, my philosophy is that uh, we try to, to make that uh, information and resources available to you, but we need your input. And we don't, uh, we, we want to hear what you would like to see in the classroom and what you would like to be uh, seeing on campus and that's why we want you to attend. I saw a lot of students down there earlier, and they were pretty excited too. So they're gonna be coming back, I'm sure, to all of you uh, with ideas as well. And I wanna give a real special thanks uh, uh, to uh, John Luby from Media Services and John Henderson from CATS and ITS, because they're the two people that have really coordinated that whole technology fair. So to both of them, thank you. It'll be even bigger. I think we're talking 15 to 20 new uh, vendors will be there next year as well. So we'll be moving out to the hallway and down the hall. So let's see how that works out. I put the challenge to them now. Okay, I, we're going to start off first with uh, comments from President Hinken and Provost Lord. So, President Hinken. Thank you very much. Since this is a technology fair, the first thing that I need to do is check my uh, cell phone to make sure I've turned it off so it doesn't go on during my presentation here. And now that I've done that, I want to welcome everyone to the second annual Technology Day. And first of which is to congratulate the 16 2004 Faculty Award recipients. It's a tremendous <coughs> honor. You should be very pleased. And I know more, you'll get more attention later on, so I'm just going to say congratulations to you on that. You know, in case you did not know this, for the last nine or ten years, I have been on the Sarah Bush Lincoln uh, Health Center Board. And as such, we go through and every three years, the accrediting team comes through to take a look at what goes on at the hospital. At Eastern and most universities, we do the accrediting process every ten years. So I happened to, they just finished the accreditation process again this year, and I happened to say something. Why do you do three years in the hospitals? I didn't mention the fact that we do 10 here because they might get the idea that we would do things every three to five years here for uh, the accreditation. Their answer was two reasons. Number one, to continue the patient care is always taken care of, but secondly is technology. They said that the technology and medical field changes so rapidly that they want to do accreditation process every three years to, to ensure that the hospitals continue to meet the needs of the patients with their most recent technology. This is why last spring we began discussing long-range plans at the university. Several long-range plans that we talked about were in housing, about how we can improve the safety with, improve the physical facilities, and second, we began to talk last year about a long-range plan for technology. This is why, and I'm going to close on this, I'm very pleased to hear that Mike Hoadley and Chat Chatterjee this Friday at the ATAC committee will begin discussing rolling out plans for a five-year plan for the university in improving technology in the classroom. I think that this is something that we need. We need a long-range plan. We certainly need the best technology we can possibly have for the education of our students. Again, congratulations to the winners. 
the recipients. I'm very pleased to be able to be here to welcome you all today. Thank you very much. I too want to welcome all of you here to this uh, second annual Technology Day. Um, I want to express my appreciation as has already been expressed to all the people putting this on, including Mike Fosley and those who assisted him as well as our guests for the fair. I don't know if you've all had a chance to read the flyer that's the table about this day, um, but I commend it to your attention, particularly the long paragraph in the middle of the front page. It uh, lists many, many initiatives of the last year or so uh, in the area of technology, and from that you can get a hint of some of the progress we've been making. Uh, many of us are quite aware of the network upgrade that, that we just completed, uh, but you might not be quite so aware of all the other initiatives that are ongoing, uh, and in many cases, well along toward completion as well. For, for an Eastern Provost, I'm told that I'm pretty well seasoned, having completed three years here at this point. Uh, but, but I still feel pretty new. And I think back to when I first came to Eastern and shut my eyes and try to imagine that we would have made as much progress on all these initiatives as we have by today. Uh, I, I just don't see that in, in the dream that I have, but I'm delighted that we've made that kind of progress. Uh, I, too, want to congratulate the, the award winners today all the faculty colleagues that have assisted in this whole, whole initiative, as well as the, uh, the, st the many staff members uh, that, that assist us as well. Uh, I haven't had the opportunity to hear the whole program today, and I know I'm going to be delighted, but at this point I can hardly wait till next year to see what else comes up. Thanks. Thank you, President Hinkin and Dr. Lord. Uh, uh, it is exciting, and there's some exciting things going on, and it's President pointed out, we are going to start talking about uh, the comprehensive technology plan and getting more feedback from the campus and, and seeing what has been implemented, recommendations that came out of that campus-wide committee, and then start discussing how we're going to keep moving forward. And so everybody in this room will have an opportunity to be part of that, to can continue dialogue, and hopefully uh, you'll want to be a part of that, because I'm sure you, but I'm sure you will. Uh, this is the year of the network upgrade. I'll make these comments brief. But we have very, uh, some very special guests here, and I want to make sure that they are recognized. We have representatives uh, here from uh, Tangan Associates, Multimedia Solutions, Anderson Electric, Cisco, and STL, and then Facilities Planning and Management here at Eastern, ITS, and of course there are many others on campus. Would those representatives please stand up, the ones who have been involved, all those groups I mentioned? ITS, CAC. Pretty exciting things there. And I mean, uh, if you look at the program in the front shows, this was the year of the network upgrade. Uh, it, it's a remarkable uh, uh, solution that we've come up with, and there, it's still evolving, and it's very exciting in terms of what could happen. And then, as the, the president and the provost both made comments, there there are many individuals, many groups, and organizations on campus. Are obviously, far too numerous to uh, to be able to uh, highlight today. But a lot of the people who are here are the leaders on this campus, and there and there are many others. But uh, you know, when I look at the academic technology advisory committee, or the student senate, student wow. government representatives that we have here, uh, the ATAC uh, lab coordinators. Including the uh, the great triad staff uh, and and the other uh, labs uh, that work, uh, Booth Library Lab, all the ATAC lab people. Uh, we had a this summer we had a lab uh, man conference steering uh, or committee uh, conference that was held. TechNet, Team Grants Council, and of course our support from the Office of Academic Affairs and, and all the colleges and departments on campus. Uh, one person can't do it. We all do it together, and it makes the difference. So again, uh, thank you again for coming. Today we're here though, this luncheon is to recognize the faculty. We have 16 faculty members who will be uh, recognized for excellence in the use of technology. Some phenomenal things uh, were, have been going on here at Eastern years before I came. Uh, hopefully it continues as I am here, but, uh, and, and as CATS is part of the campus uh, infrastructure. Uh, we're just very, very proud of you. 